orientation and the use of online platform. Good day everyone! Today, I will be introducing to you a quick guide on how to use the following online platforms, the Google Classroom, Google Meet, and Zoom, used by your instructors for online classes, whether synchronous or asynchronous class throughout the semester. Let's start with Google Classroom. Before you use the Google Classroom for joining your classes, you are encouraged to use the institutional account provided by the school. Here's how you activate your institutional account. If you are already officially enrolled in ASCAT, just follow this format. For all students, the format for your email address is your first name, middle initial, and last name, followed by ASCAT domain at ascat.edu.ph. The format for your password is your ID number plus underscore ASCAT. For new students, the format for your email address is your first name, middle initial, and last name, followed by domain at ascat.edu.ph. And for the password, is your application number plus underscore ASCAP. Step 2. If you are using your laptop, netbook, and other personal computer, just open Google Classroom using a browser and type classroom.google.com in the URL and click the plus button to view options and select join class button to join a class. After that, in this section, enter the class code given to you by your instructors and click the join button as shown in the figure. Another way of joining a class is by using the invite link sent to you by your instructors. Just open your email inbox and open it. There you will find the class invitation and click join button if you think you are enrolled in that subject under by that instructor. This is how it looks if you are already joined the class in that subject. You will see a card like there with subject name and instructor's name in it. If you want to view what your instructors posted in your class, just click the card to open it. And this is how it looks inside the classroom. The classroom is divided into three sections, the stream, classwork, and people. For the stream, you see there the announcement and notification and the posted materials by the instructors. In the classwork section, you will see there the materials, assignments, quizzes, and other assessment that you need to accomplish in order to pass the subjects. Just click any item there open for you to take or submit activities. After you open one of the posted activities, this is how it looks. Then you can now create or attach your file in these activities. After attaching your file, don't forget to click Mark as done or turn in for it to recognize by your instructors as final work, not as draft. If your assessment is in the Google Forms, it looks like this and if you click the forms, it will open in the new tab of your window. After you submitted your answer, go back to the Google Classroom and click Mark as done and turn in. Always remember to click Mark as done or turn in if you have something to submit as part of your assessment. That's all for the Google Classroom. Next, we have Google Meet which is used for real-time video conferencing. Step 1. Open Google Meet using your browser. Again, if you are using laptops and other personal computers, just go to your browser and type meet.google.com in the URL and you'll see this page. There are two ways to join the Meet. First, using meeting code and the invite link. Using the meeting code, just type it in the meeting code text box given to you and click the join button. Or click the invite link sent in your group chat or your email box. After that, you'll see this interface. Before you enter, you can set up first whether you turn off or remain turned on your camera and to mute or unmute your microphone. If you think you are ready to enter the meeting, just click the join now button. And this now the interface inside the Meet. You will see there your instructor and classmates who joined the Meet. The buttons below has its own functionality. 
Here we have a microphone where you can mute to avoid distractions, especially if you have a noisy background, and to unmute if the teacher wants you to take part in the discussions. We have a camera where you can turn off or turn on if you are required to show in the screen. Next, we have the raised hand button for you to use if you have something to say for you to recognize by your teachers. We have also the present now where you can share your screen or a specific window or tab. You can also see there are three dots to display a pop-up menu and lastly the end call button to leave the meeting. The pop-up menu shows different options like whiteboard, changing layout of the screen, change background and etc. and settings. You can also send message for teacher and to everyone during discussion using message chat icon. Lastly, we have the Zoom app that can be also used for online video conferencing. Before using and joining the Zoom meeting, open your browser using your personal computers and type zoom.as to download the application. Or just type Zoom to Google to search the website and download and install. After installation, open the Zoom desktop client app and a window will pop up. Click the Join a Meeting if you want to join without signing in or click Sign in with a Google account. After clicking the Join a Meeting or after signing in, this window will appear. Click Join and another window will appear. So, this is the window appear after clicking the Join button. Then, you have to enter the meeting ID given to you in the first text box. In the next text box is the name that will display throughout the meeting. If you are signed in using your account, your name will automatically display in the next text box, but you can change your name if you don't want your default name to appear. But you are encouraged to enter your real name so that the teacher will recognize you and you will not be removed in the meeting. If you are not signed in, enter a display name. Below the text boxes are the two check boxes that do not connect to audio and turn off my video. If you want to be muted, turn off camera upon entering meeting. Just click the check boxes. And if you think you are already set, just click join button. After that, another window will appear for you to enter the passcode given to you together with the meeting ID and click join meeting to enter the meeting room. This is how it looks inside the Zoom meeting. This button here shows the microphone and camera icon. This menu button has chat, share screen, record, and reaction button for you to use when needed. Lastly, if you want to change, to change the view of the screen in the meeting, just click here and select preferred view here. And that's it for the Zoom application. But if you are using mobile phone, these applications are also available for downloads in both Android and iOS platform. Follow the same steps on how to access and to use the applications. If you have encountered problems in joining your class using any of the following platforms, feel free to message your teachers to ask for a supervision. That's all, easy and quick to navigate.